blister on my toe. That's new since last time I made a video. Daily we party each one day a week on a whimsy. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back, as you may have possibly observed. Melody, it was great to see you again yesterday. Um, I like your, your new collab channel that you're doing with your friends, the post-grad thing. It's really cool. I'm glad I'm enjoying it. You guys are really good vloggers, actually. I was surprised. Your did your friends vlog before this collab thing? Because they're pretty good at it. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's cool. And so she's too young. I have a new cousin whose name is Tessa. And she's super, super cute. How cute. She's got tons of black hair. She's adorable. And um, in April, I went to England for three weeks. So that was awesome. Ah, crazy happy. I went with my grandma and grandpa because they were originally from there. And then after they got married, they moved to Canada here. And that's where my mom was born. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So um, they have their citizenship and stuff, and they know all the best places to go. So going with them, they like knew where to go and had places to stay. And it was awesome. I don't know why I'm holding a pen. I just, whenever I see like a black and white thing, it makes me think of, you know, the olden days when they had those black sticks, they would stick the cigarette in. So they didn't actually have to touch the cigarette. They would just hold the stick with their random cigarette at the end, like Cruella de Vil has. Yep, that's what my pen is making me think of right now. Cruella de Vil's cigarette. Great! Basically, since England, my life has been a bit dull until today. Today was, um, slightly more exciting than the rest of the days because today I, I didn't hear a musical, I didn't get in, but, um, it was the first time I've actually, like, taken initiative and actively pursued my desire to act and perform and stuff, so it was for this production that's going on in Canada right now over the rainbow and they're doing auditions in they already did Vancouver and Edmonton and then Winnipeg was obviously today and then there's Toronto and Montreal and Halifax or something and uh the top 100 girls from those go to Toronto for like callbacks or whatever and then the top 20 out of them go on this tv show called um I'm not sure if the tv show is called over the rainbow or if it's called Dorothy Farm it's one of the two. It's basically like, from what I understand, it's like a Dancing with the Stars style. So live performances in front of a live audience each evening. Someone gets eliminated kind of thing until there's a winner. And whoever the winner is gets to play Dorothy in the stage production of this musical of the Rainbow by Andrew Lloyd Webber. So I was auditioning for the part of Dorothy just for the heck of it. And um, I didn't, as I mentioned, get in, but that didn't really surprise me because... Although I have an alright voice, it's not exactly a stage voice. So, I was just kind of doing it for the heck of it. So, I'm proud of myself for trying. But, um, yeah, it's cool. So, I'll be interested to see that TV show when it comes out this autumn. It'll be fun. Sienna or Sophia, does one of you live in Toronto? There was one other Canadian. I forget who it was. Which one of you guys is a Canadian? If you did want to check it out, I'll just put a link to the website, the Over the Rainbow website, in the description. So, if you want to attempt to be Dorothy... Check it out. Carissa, I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, awesome. I'm glad to be back, guys. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, DFTB, I guess. Bye.